Uh, my name is Dwayne Langefeld. I started Djibouti Health Team probably 2011, but I've been doing paintless dent repair since 1995. In our industry, we have to do pretty much there's two different, two to three main techniques. One is we get our tools in behind the panel and we massage the dents out. Second one is we glue pull the dents out, and then the third is we tap down the high areas on the outside of the panel. For somebody that's been doing it for 20 some years, typically it turns into an efficiency. Can we find a tool that's more efficient? Can we can we create more of a, um, just make life easier so they can make more money, turn the jobs off quicker, that's important for the insurance companies. Last year, I developed a concept of the DING tool, so then I started a company to wrap around that concept and that tool. I needed the ability to rapidly prototype each iteration as I went along and by 50 gave me the ability to do that. Literally I can print something off, go back to work, and then as the next iteration comes I can cycle in and put that in. So that's why the printer is so valuable. One of the reasons I, I wanted to make this purchase was it gave me a little bit of control on my timeline. So I wasn't handing it off to somebody that was going to, whether they're going to um, use uh, whether they do their own 3D printing or they're using a CNC machine to to own this out of nylon then I didn't have to right now if I have to wait on my CAD guy plus wait on that that might have tripled quadrupled the time for each iteration and right now if I have three updates I can do all of those in one day the resins you had give me the ability to prototype the um, the shape and basic functionality but I needed the, the new resin to truly be functional because we use nylons, we use um, ABS plastics and stuff like that, but the, the, the nylon is a, used quite a bit in our industry. So being able to get on board right as you launch that was perfect for me. In our industry we use Delrin nylon knockdowns that um, where we tap any imperfections that are high on the panel. And so we need something that shouldn't scar the paint or scar the metal. When I go through the next iteration of print is I'll upload the software. I'll actually download the software usually from the email to my laptop. Um, I can go into B9 Creation software, click on it, go to the file, it'll draw that file in for me and convert it to the proper file. Well then we upload it to the, the actual printer which is connected via Wi-Fi. Again, simple. I don't have to do any of that or if you need to or if I needed to I could have done it um, and then once it's loaded up inside the library literally it's a process of probably less than five button pushes and you're printing and then cleanup was probably my biggest issue if there was something that was slowing me down with each iteration it was actually my cleanup and it stopped me from printing at times because I didn't want to spend the amount of time especially with the nylon and nylon has a, a it's just thicker substance it's harder to clean um, with that, it would take a half an hour in front, a half an hour behind if I was doing it by hand. Uh, and so it did slow down my print process. And so moving with uh, the automatic cleaner is going to reduce my time, speed up the process quite a bit actually.